Storm Trucker weather starts now with meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back, everyone. On the Opportunity Bank ICANN, we have had a lot of cloud cover around for a good chunk of the day today, and there has been some fog around today as well, and that fog has been dense at times. And this was a shot from earlier this evening when the skies were beginning to clear, and we actually did have a pretty nice sunset, but you can still see some of that fog that we did have off in the distance. And fog will continue to be an issue as we go through tonight and into tomorrow morning. It's not going to be dense for the entire time, but we are going to have areas of dense fog around overnight tonight through tomorrow morning in some locations within southwestern Montana. So please be careful if you are going to be traveling anywhere. Of course, roads are going to be slick overnight tonight as the moisture on the roadways is going to freeze over as temperatures drop below freezing. Then we are going to have areas of reduced visibility as well. Now, we did have precipitation around last night into this morning around the Helena area. And in north central Montana, we had precipitation around last night and throughout the day today, but a lot of the precipitation is now done with. Still a little bit of rain, freezing rain and snow in portions of north central Montana, but a lot of us are currently seeing mostly two partly cloudy skies and dry conditions. And as we go through the next couple of hours, that precipitation will continue to taper off. And outside of fog, you can expect mostly clear skies overnight tonight. Heading into tomorrow, there will be some areas of fog around during the morning, but outside of the fog, you can expect partly cloudy sky, so it is going to be a very nice day of weather. And then as we head into tomorrow night, the cloud cover is going to be increasing a little bit, but overall you can expect partly cloudy skies tomorrow night. And then during the day on Sunday, another very nice day of weather with partly cloudy skies. And we'll be dry for most of the day, but as we head into Sunday afternoon and evening, precipitation will start to work its way in the western and southwestern Montana. And as we get into Sunday evening, that's when we are going to have a chance to see some snow showers around the Helena area, especially in the higher elevations. Now, as we go through the next few days, the wind is not going to be a huge issue, but overnight tonight and during the day tomorrow, there's going to be a breeze around in some locations. A few wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour are going to be possible at times, and sustained wind speeds will be between 10 and 25 miles per hour. We'll continue to have a bit of a breeze around tomorrow night and during the day on Sunday as well. But really, overall, as we go through the next couple of days, the wind is really not going to be a huge issue, which is definitely some good news. Overnight tonight, low temperatures are going to be in the 20s for a lot of us. And again, since there is still some moisture on the roadways, any moisture that is still on the roadways will freeze overnight tonight with temperatures getting below freezing. So roads are going to be slick. Definitely be careful if you are going to be traveling anywhere. And then high temperatures tomorrow will be in the 30s for a lot of us, and there will be some low to mid 40s around in north central Montana. As we take a look the next seven days, temperatures will be remaining in the mid to upper 30s, and they're actually going to be fairly stationary over the next week. Partly cloudy and mostly dry this weekend, although we have a chance to see a few snow showers Sunday evening into Sunday night. Mostly dry on Monday, and then we could see some more rain and snow showers Tuesday into Wednesday, especially from Tuesday evening through Wednesday morning. And then we'll be dry for the end of the week. In Great Falls, temperatures will be topping out in the 40s this weekend with partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies, and there will be a little bit of a breeze around. And then we'll stay in the 40s next week, mostly dry on Monday, and then we could see a little bit of precipitation late Tuesday into Wednesday morning.